first we're going to show you our network topology we have a sonic wall this black cable is connected to the LAN port that LAN port it's going into a PoE switch this switch will provide power to the phone via another LAN cable so that's connected to a PoE port we're going to connect that cable to the network side of the phone and we're going to show you how the phone will turn on just by using the network cable powering the phone we're going to disconnect the phone and show you the first step first you need to set a static IP address to your computer we're going to be showing you with ours we have uh, Windows 10 and we're going to be showing you how to change that to a static IP address double click on your Ethernet connection uh, like so click on properties click on uh, protocol net TCP4 those are our settings for this particular network once you set up your network you're gonna click OK and then close and close that was the first step second step is you're gonna log into your router and disable DHCP server in our case this is how we do it with sonic wall we di and disable it and we hit accept now we're going to start up the TFTP32 server we're going to show you how to set up your settings click the settings button click on DHCP put in the starting IP address of your pool in our case we're going to start with 200 set the size of the pool in our case we're just going to set it to 10 type in the IP address of your router in our case 1.1 subnet mask of your router DNS server we're using Google's DNS for this demonstration and the SIP server this is the same IP address that you gave your PC earlier in the video in our case dot 44 uncheck that uncheck that check that and select the IP address that you gave your PC earlier hit OK browse to the directory where you have your folders all the zip files that you downloaded from Cisco in our case it's in the download file and that particular folder we're going to click open now we're going to show you what our files look like inside these are the files that we have inside there make sure you have very similar files in your directory now we're going to restart the phone and reset the phone by holding the pound key hold down the pound key like so wait till all the lights turn on let go the pound key and hit all the keys in sequence like so you will see the boot you will see the phone reboot now you'll see once the boot once the phone has booted up it'll start transferring all your zip files into it and that is pretty much it